good news is it stopped raining for a little bit. Bad news is it was dreadful this morning, so there was no point getting up at early, early for sunrise because it was absolutely hammering it down. So we slept in, had a, had a relaxing morning, and uh, now we're going to wander on back to the car, offload all our stuff, and find a couple of lakes that I had my eye on um, for the way back home as well. So that's probably only about, well, I'm following this mud here. Well, that's probably only about a half an hour, 40 minute drive, so we might get some breakfast on the way. I'm starving. And uh, yeah, see you at the next spot. <laughs> Well, I'm a little bit chuffed with this find. This was the location I had in mind for either on the way up to Snowdonia or on the way down, depending on when we left. But this is a, a lake that I've seen photographed uh, called Quigenon Lakes, um, just near the edge of Barla, I guess it is. Uh, it took us about half an hour to get there from, Bar from uh, Betsy Coe, so it's not far, maybe a bit longer actually, maybe about 50 minutes. But what a place. The drive up here is absolutely incredible, but we've got a farmhouse over there uh, the lake itself, nice mountain over there and a boat house over there. So we can get a shot from over that angle. And the, the, sh the photograph I want to get is just over here on this farm, looking over to the trees that lie in the, uh, in the middle of the lake there. What a fantastic place. <laughs> awesome. And the lights come out lovely as well. It's the first break of, it's flipping bright actually. <laughs> it's the first break of light we've had the whole weekend. So really, really tough. It's always the day we've got to go back as well. But never mind, at least we've got the light now. And uh, we've probably got about half an hour here before we need to hit the road. What a place this is. I'm really, really chuffed we came here. Uh, we haven't got long because uh, Andrew's got to get back to Swansea for, uh, to catch the train to London. So we're uh, very, very up against it again today. But considering how bad the morning started with light and rain and drizzle, it was a really strong winds as well. It's turned out really, really well. So I'm pleased we've come down here. Um, what I've done is I've done two shots. I've got a panoramic image going across there, all the way around to catch the farm in as well. And that's just a bracketed image at F11 using the XF1024 um, with the, I put in the 8 on there as well just to get rid of, get a bit of movement in the water just a flat because it's, it's really breezy the water doesn't look particularly pleasant so I thought I'd smooth that out so the polarizer's got rid of the reflection and then now I've got the super stopper if I don't fall off the side of this <laughs> um, the super stopper on there now just to give us a 4 minute exposure uh, it's about 5.6 focused on this house here so that will get hopefully some movement in the clouds there as well. That'll be really cool. It's not something I've ever seen photographed before and I just stumbled across it. Very, very luckily, I thought, where on earth is that? I've got to find that. Yeah, beautiful place. It's a National Trust place and there's no one here. Amazing. I'm really thinking this long exposure is too ambitious. 
eight minutes in this wind. I'm standing right by the camera. <laughs> I've had to move it down a little bit onto a bit more because the grass had a bit too much movement in it. No matter what I did, I just couldn't get the feet solid. Um, <laughs> I'm a bit too optimistic with this one, I think. But it's what a wonderful shot it would be if it worked. I'm just watching the sheep keep running around there as well. They keep charging at each other and uh, one sheep is particularly annoying the rest of them are. <laughs> Very funny. This is a wonderful little spot, this is. Just walking up to the car to change the battery on the mic and uh, got the uh, the boat house over there. You can see that. And then that's the farm we were at a second ago. And I've just positioned the camera low to the ground We're using these two sets of rocks here in the foreground. So you've got these little rocks here, then I'm focus stacking here, that big rock there, and then up to where the boat house is as well. So about F14 focus stack with a ND8 grad and an ND8 solid as well, just to slow the water down. And obviously we've still got the polarizer on there as well for the glare, but the reflection, when you're slowing it down, when the wind stops, it's, it's uh, reflecting nicely in the water as well. So it looks really, really nice. But I'm gonna, I'm tempted to wait, in, wait for a bit more break in the cloud, but I need to get over to the boathouse to get a shot there and we really need to get hit the road. So yeah, better shoot over there. <laughs> Well, I've left that cooking. I'm guessing the exposure a little bit. The sun's come out now, it's gone really, really bright. And when I tried my uh, super long exposure a minute ago, it didn't work. So that's over there, focusing on the rocks in the foreground. I'm coming over here to get some my shadow. The sun's casting a really long shadow. So um, I've left it uh, pointing at the rocks in the foreground there and the boathouse in the background with the Lee Super Stopper on there. So I want to get like a four minute exposure to get the clouds moving and the water completely nice and fluffy and smooth and whatnot. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's a bit of a guesstimate because we're in a bit of a rush and the light keeps changing so much, you can't really get it right. <laughs> but uh, fingers crossed, it'll be a nice image. Rather it was under underexposed than overexposed anyway, so. So as much as this is breaking my heart to leave this place, on a, by far the best weather we've had all, all weekend. Uh, we've got to go now because Andrew's going to miss his train. We've got, to, we've got like three hours to get back to Swansea so he can get his train back to, to, back to uh, London. But uh, thanks ever so much for all the support. I hope you've enjoyed the, uh, the three videos that we've done. Uh, it's been amazing. Uh, shame about some of the weather we've had, but it's been a really, really good experience. I love phot photography in Snowdonia. It's absolutely amazing. So uh, great to do a few nights camping as well. Uh, shame my tent leaked and broke, but <laughs> can't help that. Uh, but yeah, thanks very much for the support. If you haven't already, hit the uh, subscribe button and uh, please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the, the video and drop a comment. It'd be great to hear from you. Thanks so much. See you again soon. Cheers.